Okay, welcome back everyone to tutorial number 26. Now in ES 2015, there are two types of exports, named and default. In this video, let us focus on named exports. Now we have two files, module a.js and module b.js. Now let's head over to module b.js and create a new variable. So let fname is equal to Chandler. Now, let's say we want to export this variable fname so that it can be used in other modules. So for that, we just need to use the export keyword. So add export at the beginning of the statement. So now our variable fname is ready to be accessed in other modules. So how do we import that over to module a.js? So to import variables, we use the keyword import followed by name of the variable, so fname within curly braces. And from where are we importing it? From a file called module b.js in the current directory, so dot and slash for the current directory. Now, when we try to log to the console, F name. Let's save this and head over to the browser. There you go, Chandler. So we have created a variable F name equals Chandler in module B and importing it into module A and we have displayed it on the log. So imports and exports how, are how modules communicate. Now let's create another variable. Export let L name is equal to Bing. Now to import this, we can just specify with the comma the name of the variable, so L name. Now over here in console log, let's switch to backticks and let's switch this to dollar F name and dollar L name. So when I save this, head over to the browser and we have Chandler Bing. Now if you don't remember or recognize this backticks on the dollar interpolation, please check my tutorial on string templates. So what have we done? We have created two new variables, F name, L name, exported them from module B, imported them in module A and then logged them onto the console. Now let's say we have 10 variables to export. In such a case, this export keyword can be replaced from every sentence and we can just have one export. So what we can do is export followed by the list of variables to be exported. So F name, L name. So if we had 10 variables, we just would specify all 10 variables separated by a comma. So now when we export it and import it, everything else remains the same, Chandler Bing. So nothing changed. So that's another way to export your variables. You can either do it in the same line or you can have a single export at the end specifying the list of variables. So the next point about importing is that we can specify an alias. So over here, F name, I can say as F and L name as L. So I'm providing an alias for F name and L name as F and L. But now, let me show you what happens. When I save this, so that's, we, we, we have an error, F name is not defined. And same is the case with L name. So when you use an alias for an import, you must use that alias. So now we change this to F and change this to L. So now let's save this. And there you go, Chandler Bing. So a point about import, import statement, we can provide alias for imports, but the only condition is that we must use the uh, alias name. We cannot use the original name. Now, the next point about imports are module imports or hoisted. So over here, let's 
add a new, let's just log to the console, module B loaded. And we need it to be within codes. All right, now let's go back to module A. And just before import, let's add log statement that's going to say module a log one and let's add another log module a log two so now let's save this and head over to the console and it says module b loaded module a log one module a log two and then chandler bing so let's try to understand what happened our very first statement module b loaded was logged in module b.js so we have a single log statement you can just ignore everything else for now we have module b loaded and when module a is loaded we have first the log statement for module a log one and then the import statement so over here we should have log for the the, the module b is loaded so but what happened in the actual log is that module b lo loaded was hoisted to the top. So whenever you have an import statement, it is always going to be, to be hoisted to the top. So this import is going to go above this module a log one. So that is why we have module b loaded first and then module a log one, module a log two together. And then Chandler Bing of course. So there is something to be kept in your mind, module a, sorry, import statements are hoisted. And finally, what I want to discuss is that imports are read only. So over here, we have let f name, let l name, and let's go back to module A. I'm going to remove the alias so that it makes it simpler to understand. So l name, and replace this, f name, and l name. So we have imported f name and Okay, let me just remove this as well. So we have imported first name and last name. Now, let's try to change first name to Ross. So when we save this, we get an error. So what the error basically says is that you cannot change something that you have imported. So imports are read only. So F name and L name can be imported, but can never be changed. But what you can change is the properties of objects. So let obj is equal to an object. I'm just going to create a property and give it a name, let's say Joey. Now, and let's also export obj. Now head over here import obj and now I can change obj dot name to ross and console log obj dot name so let's save this so module be loaded and the name has been changed from joey to ross so joey was the original name and we were able to change it to ross so those are some things that I wanted to cover about named exports. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.